here we go. Okay, so we have a Jonathan, <coughs> and we will unmute. Hi there, Jonathan. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you're live on the air. Very cool. Well, outstanding. Yeah. So uh, I, yeah, I kind of feel like the the redheaded stepchild here. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what any of you guys are talking about. I don't do software development. I do PowerShell development. Okay. Um, and, and basically, I use it to check the uh, infrastructure and configuration of my servers. And basically, I'm doing for quality assurance, uh, checking security uh, measures. And, I, and I'm uh, kind of my question is: is is, uh, is there going to be in the future any reporting and uh, and greater emphasis on infrastructure type components? And as well as uh, like when I look at Otter, and, and I do think it's a great tool, but really the only thing I use in it's a PS Insure. So I basically write all of my custom scenarios just because I know how it works and I know it's pretty reliable. And probably one of my greatest uh, struggles with Otter is is the occasional hiccup um, where I have to do a lot of digging just to find out why something didn't work or whatever. And um, sometimes there's something wrong with the product. Sometimes it's me because I'm not uh, not the brightest bulb on the tree, but uh, that's the way it goes. So that's my question. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So actually, uh, this is what this, I mean, I'm just pointing to the word compliance, ITIL, ISM, uh, ITSM is all about. Um, absolutely. Because what you're talking about as far as the reporting, as far as that, that is everything that's going into this compliance driven, this compliance driven feature, whether that's reporting. Uh, one of the big things that we are planning to do in this is Basically, it's not really ensuring the configuration of a server, but what it's doing is it's it's making you know ensuring is uh, saying if it's not in this configuration, put it in this configuration. So that's the right thing. But what we want to put in is to say make sure that this server or report on the fact that this server is missing this thing. So I'll give you a, the simplest thing to do is let's say a firewall port, right? Um, you wanna say this, this server, it must not have any firewall open except for this port, uh, uh, for example. Uh, so, so yes, so, so long story short, that's absolutely something that we want to do. Uh, in fact, we're in the process of sort of researching it now, uh, but this is a really big topic because it's uh, how do, you know, I don't have a lot of my background and experience personally comes from really the software development side. I've learned a ton about the operations side, but what, what we really want to get into a point is we have a lot of customers who are doing it with our tools. Um, we want to be able to help the, the companies, you know, uh, in situations like yours where it is managing thousands of Windows servers, which it's just two things, automating the configuration, detecting drift, all those things, but, but also the feature we need to add, I believe, in order to hit this compliance piece is, um, uh, what do I call it, a, a compliance as code, Some, something like that. I mean, it's a it's sort of a casual thing, but like, yeah, compliance as code, the idea with the compliance as code is you basically will just say, I want this, this set of servers must have these patches installed. Don't install them, just tell me if they don't. So that's, that is a big piece because, and the reason for this is there's a lot of things that compliance that you're just checking for. Uh, we will also try to build out pre-built compliance packages. But anyway, it'll be things like um, for SOCs, for uh, HIPAA, you know, there's these pre-built compliance packages that'll say all the servers must have this configuration. It's very specific. It's like FTP is not enabled. Uh, or if FTP is enabled, uh, you know, anonymous isn't allowed, or TLS 1.2, it's things like that. So, so that's sort of the, so that's definitely the direction is that compliance thing, but also reporting is going to be very important. Ultimately, in, in my mind, reporting exists to help with compliance. So that's uh, uh, that's that's sort of it. So hopefully that that gives some sort of uh, some sort of answer uh, or or some sort of direction um but yeah yeah uh if you have a follow-up yeah maybe you can I'm gonna unmute. no i just wanted to make the follow-up uh, comment i think that's really great um compliance is most definitely code um if you manage any infrastructure uh group policy was a great tool 20 years ago it's definitely outdated mm -hmm. not received the improvements or the tender loving care it needs and it's especially it's very cumbersome when you're managing five different forests and in eight to ten domains so that makes mm -hmm. things very challenging and of course, they're not. Uh, um, most of them are all um, different organizations that have kind of fallen into one. So, code is definitely key here, and uh, definitely not a GUI tool. And I'm looking forward to seeing some uh, infrastructure side improvements and love. So, cool. thank you for that uh, answer. 
Awesome. Great. Yeah, we'll, Great. we'll yeah, give us a, a few months and we'll be at least closer to learning what this means and how to, uh, and how to incorporate in our products. From, from what I've talked to other customers, we are, we are awfully close. So um, okay, and I'm, I'm more than willing, willing to uh, help you guys work here. If you have any questions or anything you guys need from me, let me know. Absolutely. Awesome. I will, Absolutely. I'll, I'll reach out for sure. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for the, thanks for the question.